Hello everyone. When we last left off, well, Madlock was in a great degree of danger. Not from the zombies, but from those little red things. And, uh, now we've got to... Oh, no. Oh, what the... We, we ran past you, but then... What? No, come on. Push him away, push him away. aren't any in here, right? Good. Good. Okay. That's great, even. Just stand you over here. Yeah. That'll be fine. Now that the power is back on, we can get Kenzo to talk to Mood. <laughs> aren't you <laughs> happy? Well, let's see what kind of Mood Mood is in now. Mood, can you hear me? I am a subunit of Mood, which is one of the highly advanced YX009 series of computers, possessing consciousness and a personality based on a living person. Mood is an InfoMesh computer, requiring a telepathic link with an expert InfoMesh operator for full interaction. Mood's artificial personality, extrapolated from that of a celebrated actress, is at present disengaged. Oh, come on. To engage artificial personality, please use the Omniscan headset. Okay. Warning, those not experienced in the InfoMesh interaction will be unable to activate the headset and may suffer severe adverse symptoms. Mood. This is a recording. I'm not in at the moment, but if you care to leave a message, I promise I'll get back to you sometime before the end of the millennium. Maybe you can stop pretending you're a recording, and we can get down to meshing. What about it, Mood? Come on. Don't mesh with me, saucy boy. We haven't been formally introduced. Then allow me to introduce myself informally. I'm Kenzo. And I'm Mood, as you well know. <laughs> I hope you've not dropped in for an idle chat. I was sleeping when you called. You've woken me from the most intriguing dream. I was playing table tennis with Cleopatra when I suddenly turned into the past participle of Petra. Interesting. Wow. No, no electric sheep then. Access denied. Why? Uh, is there something else we have to do? I mean, uh, we do have power now, right? But, um... Do we have power? What else is there to do? I mean, uh, do we have to actually... Uh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, oh, come on. We have power, but what else do we need? Oh, come on, come on. Can I just talk with you again? Oh, wait, I actually can talk with you. And this time we have topics. Let's talk about Kenzo. My full name is Kenzo Yuji. Have you heard of me? What's this, fishing for compliments? You're Earth's most renowned techno-zen hippie. Wow. King of the info measures. Must be a great honor for you to mesh with the solo system's most magnificent computer. Do you wish me to get intimate and call you by your personal name of Kenzo? Yes. I think I'll stick to your family name of Muji. What? I never get intimate on the first date. At least, not before midnight, Kenzo. What? Well, let's see what we can do about those bulkheads. Yes, yes, yes. We need to get them lifted. Would you raise the bulkheads, please, Mood? Oh, I don't know about that. I'll tell you what. We'll play a game. Oh. Give me the password, and I'll lift the bulkheads. What oh. password? It's a matter of 
reading the signs. Oh. If you can't read them, get someone to do it for you. Uh, what signs? There weren't any any signs about the bowl kids, were they? Mood. The password is Park Lane. Park Lane. Oh. Really good. Well done, Kenzie. I'm glad you realised that. Watch your step. Well, thank you, Kenzo. Okay, Earth Control. How much can you tell me about Earth Control? Everything. But I'm far too tired to be bothered. Uh, really? How much can you tell me about Earth Control? Everything. Yeah. Uh, what are this mission? This mission we're engaged in. The Enigma mission. Do you know anything about it that we don't? Not really. Huh? You're investigating ten months of radio silence ten from the Beta months. Base. Mind you, Khan knows something you don't. What does Khan know? <laughs> Ask Khan, but he won't tell you. Mm, come on, we're a team. We're supposed to trust each other. Oh yeah, what about Allenby? Allenby. What about Allenby? What do you think of him? Not much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh, well, neither do I. According to the mood files, you're linked to the entire PA system in the base. You're also hooked up to the PA in the necropolis. Well, what of it? That means I can talk to you anywhere. Listen, I know what's going on everywhere, but I'm not inclined to indulge in chit-chat here, there, and all over the shop. If you want a bit of a chinwag, drop in and see me. Ugh. <sighs> You really like being difficult, don't you? What can you tell me about Diane Matlock? When she was a small child, back in 1996, she read the news headlines about the microfossils identified in that Martian meteorite. First proof of Martian life. Since then, she's devoted herself to finding living organisms on Mars. Is Matlock one of LMB's secret operatives? Anything shady about her? What? She's not one of Allenby's people, and she's not shady. Mind you, nobody's perfect. Even you. Can you tell me any more about Matlock? She's not all she seems to be. Kenzo, why would you suspect her? Uh, hmm. Martian Mayhem. You know about the worst game in the solar system? Have you ever played Martian Mayhem? Don't be bloody stupid. <laughs> mm, yes, don't be stupid. I suppose that's as good as anything. Non-dead. Were you aware that the Walking Dead are rambling about this place? Was oh, that what they're called? Ah, uh, yes, the non-dead. Activated by a single strain of Martian bacteria. <sighs> Spooky, aren't they? How do we deal with them? Shoot them, that's what I say. That'll keep them quiet for a while. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you with their hands. While they're up and about, their bodies are steeped in sub-sub-sub-zero temperatures. They'll freeze you on the spot. Ooh. They've sucked in the cold soul of Mars, you see. An icy spirit. We're talking brass monkeys here, darling. I feel like an ice statue when I get anywhere near them. Well, you would. Well, yeah. Let's talk about that bacteria. What's special about Martian bacteria? They've been encoded with living memories. Whoa. The memory of the Karakarak is in their DNA. What's the Karakarak, though? Exactly who are the Karakarak? The ancient Martians. Oh. Most are long dead billions of years ago when the planet's atmosphere boiled away. But a few, a very few, are what you could call sleeping. Has the spirit. The memory of the Karakarak possessed Vita Base. The spirit of the Karakarak has possessed the whole of Mars. Check the text files. Password Geist. Hmm. Geist for Karakarak. Alright then, thank you. Hmm. Let's talk about Mars in general. Oh wait, no. Uh, let's talk about Operation Akarak. Operation Akarak. What is that? Akarak is the true name of Mars. 
cool. Anyway, it's all on the text files in those rubbishy computers you can find close by. Text file password is field. Hmm, that'll be interesting. This. Oh, what about that power core? Mood, can you hear me? Oh, God, no. Oh, what? you're already awake. You know, I must get my beauty sleep or my neural networks will be absolutely shot to bits. I am have... just having the most delightful dream of 17 young sailors on pogo sticks, silent upon a peak in Darien. The symbolism escapes me. Anyway, power core has been restored. You should be wide awake. Is anything wrong? Uh, just a moment. Let me see. Ah, yes. Several heat receptors are out of commission in power core. So you'll have to make do with 60% energy levels. Ah, cheese. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard any machine say hard cheese. First time I've ever s ever heard anyone say hard cheese. Okay, what about your voice? There's a standard computer voice. Female. Mid-Atlantic accent. Is she a subsystem of you? How dare you suggest I have any association with that <laughs> Compared with that woman, I am as Queen Hatshepsut to a common doxy in a wayside inn. Please refrain from mentioning that woman to my face ever again. <laughs> if you do, I warn you, I shall... I shall sulk. Okay. <laughs> okay, you sure you're not probably jealous or something? Yeah, what about the Lords of Egypt? What does that book have to do with this? We found the book. The Lords of Egypt. That's nice. There was a name underlined in it. That's nice too. Ah. Come on. <laughs> Get to the point, Kenzo. Um, well, it looks like we have... You sure, you sure we can use the chair? Oh boy, we can use the chair. Where are we going? Oh. Ah, a semi-real chamber. A simplified version of room in my own home. Oh wow, it does, doesn't it? it looks... Like, oh, an instrument. A shamisen, complete with plectrum. Uh, can we use it? Use it with uh, pumice stone? No, 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 I, I, I don't think so. Won't budge. Perhaps music is the key. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, is there anything else that we can... No, we, we can exit, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm... Pretty sure we can't play a shamisen with a drive belt or a silver bell. Yeah. Well, we have lifted the bulkheads, which is nice. Hmm. A lot of places are going to be open to us now, and we can actually meet face to face. But. We probably don't want to. We probably really, really don't want to. Ah. Well, we can finally go places. That's amazing. I just don't want to step out of this chamber because it's so safe here. <sighs> well, who's going to be the first person to brave the outside? Kind of done all you can do at the moment. I mean, we still need another screwdriver, and well, we can't seem to use that yet. Oh yeah, we never looked at this, did we? Um, what was it? Yeah, the biosensor. It displays human alpha and beta waves as signal. Each blip represents a human. If it goes into the red, it means I'm within biohazard range. Alright, let's use it. Whoa! Hmm. Oh, so it only shows up there? Interesting. Okay. Wait. Uh, no, not that way. 
I uh, want to go this way. That's the way with a bulkhead, wasn't it? Please don't... Oh, man, I... Okay, another bulkhead. Yeah, no, there's definitely nothing else here, I guess. Reinforced bulkhead. All the bulkheads would close automatically in the event of a bacterial outbreak. If there are bacteria still floating around here, then we're infected. Oh. Um. Then you. It's not lifted. Uh, hold on. Uh. Kenzo? No, I don't. Don't fist that again. Okay. Kenzo, can you actually do anything about the bulkheads at all? No, not about those ones, I guess. So, I guess... I guess that bulkhead isn't going to open because of the bacteria. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to clear out the bacteria that easily. Got to get someone somewhere. Well, you, Khan, have done all you can at the moment. Let's see. Uh, bah. I still haven't made heads or tails of Khan's part. Oh, well, that's next time, everyone. Next time, we'll go through a bulkhead, hopefully, for the first time. Maybe we'll check out those restricted files on the computer as well. See you then. Bye-bye.